Hi to all the Linux Deck viewers out there. Today we will be starting a new series of Microsoft Word and this is our introductory lesson. So in this lecture we will be introducing you with the interface and what are the different features available within Word screen. Please keep in mind that uh, Microsoft Word is a part of Microsoft Office. So uh, definitely there are similarities in between different applications and uh, the interface is almost similar. Let's get a start with the right top. So here you can see these are the Windows controllers as you must have learned within Microsoft Office applications. So this is the close button, the maximize button or the restore button and then we have the minimize button. After this you can have this ribbon display options. When you click this, see different uh, ribbon display options are available. Either you can select an auto hide ribbon, show tabs and show tabs and command. Let me practically show you if you are watching this video for the very first time. So auto hide means that uh, this ribbon will not be part of your screen. When you will hover your mouse on the top of your screen it will come down as an option. This is how it will be coming down. The second option that we have is show tabs. So when we will select show tabs it will only show us the caption of all these ribbons and it will not let us know what are the details or what are the commands included within these particular ribbons. In order to see the commands or different groups within each ribbon you need to click on the particular caption. So for example now I'm going to click home. See what happens. All features commands or groups which are related to home will appear. Similarly when I'll click here this will disappear and when I'll click again on any of these ribbon for example review it will pop up again. So this, uh, these are different options for the display uh, which you can use. Uh, basically uh, mostly you need to use tabs and commands so that uh, you are aware of what you are using and what you are working on. But uh, for instance if you need a larger space on your screen and if you don't need uh, particular commands again and again you can definitely go for these options. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go for the default option which is show tabs and commands. See. Now uh, the tabs which are called as ribbons as well and these groups or the commands will appear no matter wherever I'll be clicking on this particular screen. See. So this is the third option. On middle of your screen you can see the caption or the name of this particular document. As I have not saved this document so the particular name or the, the starting name or you can say that the default name given to your document in Microsoft Word is document 1. Similarly if you create a new document it will be called as document 2 and so on. So the default name will be document followed by the sequence of that particular document. Then you will have an hyphen sign followed by word. On the left hand side of your screen you can see these are the different options. This is called as quick access toolbar. Uh, these are the options which you think or your team actually frequently uses and you would like to place them on top of your screen so that you don't need to go into the ribbons and you don't need to fetch out the details. You will have all these options right in front of you. You can definitely click on this drop down menu and add and delete within these quick access toolbar. For example, if you think that you or your team is frequently using an option which is email, so you can check this email option and this email will now be part of this quick access toolbar. Similarly, if I do not want this email or any other option, I'll uncheck the box or the particular option and it will disappear. So this depends on the requirement and it depends on which team you are working in. It can be customized based on the project as well. So uh, your team leader might have different options for you. Now let's uh, see the bottom part of the screen. Here you can see that the very first information that we have is actually the page number. So it is actually telling me that the currently your cursor is on page 1 out of 1. This shows me that this document has a total of one page and currently my cursor is on page first. If you have multiple pages the values will keep on changing. 
just beside this page number you can see zero words this number actually shows how many words your document has let me currently it has zero words let me write something on this this is my first document as you can see as i'm writing you must have noticed that the number of words are changing down so i have actually written five different words let me increase the words and please notice that it will increase uh, with respect to the amount of words i'm adding to my sentence this is my first document which i would like to share with you all see i have written down 14 words now in case i need to delete on any of these words you can see here that the number of words will start on decreasing i've removed one word and now the number of words are 13 similarly when i'll remove you the number of words are now 12 great just uh, after this number of words count you can see that you have a proofing box here so once you have written down your document you have the luxury to actually check different options you can check the spelling errors you can check it grammatically and there are several options and we'll guide you when we'll be performing different actions later on on the right bottom of your screen you have similar options uh, the first option that we'll be discussing here is zoom in and zoom out so in case uh, if you would like to adjust the size of this particular document you can always change it by either zooming it or zooming out so it depends on the requirement and it can be changed either by this particular option or we also have different options on these ribbons which we'll be discussing in our upcoming lectures now after this uh, zoom in and zoom out these are the layout options so the first one we have is the reading mode so for example if uh, your uh, project manager your boss your teacher or your friend or your colleague have actually emailed you a document and you would like to read it so this is the reading mode that you must or you should select so as you can see that the document is now available in reading mode i have limited amount of ribbons on top of my screen and it is much more readable this is my first document which i would like to share with so this is what we have written in the document in order to go back to our normal view you just need to click here and it will sh or press an escape button so it will be back towards what can be seen on your screen so the middle button is actually the print layout or this is how your document will look like if you would like to get a print of it the third one is the web layout which we'll be discussing in our upcoming lectures great so this is how the screen actually looks like and this is just the introduction of uh, how you can use these features we'll be discussing many of these features in detail and believe me this is one of the most powerful tool you can have if you would like to write something or you are reading out something so we'll explore it in our upcoming lecture stay tuned and thanks for watching this video